You're watching Finding Omaha. I'm Reed Kilmer. Today you're gonna to meet Bill. Bill owns Beer Corner USA. Meet Bill. Uh, Bill Babiric, uh, 57, and born and raised here in Omaha, Nebraska. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, like I said, I was born and raised in Omaha. We, uh, we grew up, uh, born in 1960, and kind of the, I, I, in the shadows of Rosenblatt Stadium, I guess. Uh, so, uh, grew up in my, uh, in my father's childhood home. And um, that lasted until about 1967 when um, the, uh, they, they finally put the interstate through um, and took our home, because our, our home was in the path of the interstate. So um, we had to move, so we actually ended up moving like, like five blocks away so we didn't really move out of the neighborhood too much, but we actually, my father had a, uh, a, a, a an empty lot, piece of land, and so we, we couldn't, my mom, my mom couldn't find a house that she liked, so we built a house and, uh, and stayed, again, in the same kind of neighborhood where my father had grown up. And um, so we got a new house in an old neighborhood, so it was kind of the best of both worlds in that regard. You know, when I was about 16, um, I started, there was, there was a, a pretty big craze that had started of collecting beer cans. And so I uh, got in on that craze. Some of my friends were collecting beer cans and I started collecting beer cans. And, and I kind of always had this like interest in Omaha history and such. And I, and there were, you know, then I, you know, realized from what my father had told me that there were, you know, had been other breweries here. There was one brewery still left in town at that time, Falstaff, and we weren't too far from there. And anyway, so it kind of, you know, I started to learn a lot about beer and studying beer and uh, collecting the cans and uh, just, just doing research and things. And it just became kind of a kind of a pastime and uh, I had developed a real passion for it. Uh, in 95 I had made up my mind that I, that Omaha was ready for a craft beer bar and uh, I, not that I knew anything about running a bar or anything like that but I thought well we'll give it a shot and see what happens and well the you know, the really the only you know the other you know the other dream I had was to open a brewery, which we did. We opened Infusion Brewery uh, about four years ago, and that was that was really kind of the the fulfillment of of my passion for local brewing and to be able to be kind of a part of that local brewing history, I guess, if you will. Ooh, regrets in life. Well, Well, I regret that my parents weren't around to see, you know, all this, you know, not that that's necessarily a regret. They didn't have uh, much control over that, unfortunately, but it would, sh it would certainly be nice if they, uh, if they were to be around, uh, you know, see us um, with, the, with the, the bar and subsequently the brewery and such. I like Omaha. I mean, it's, it's, it's a very typical Midwestern city um it's not as quite as progressive as i would like it to be um i think we tend to uh skew a little too conservative for my tastes but all in all you know i've i've traveled i've been to most most of the states i've been to a number of foreign countries um you know it's home and uh uh you know, it, 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 can, it can be frustrating sometimes um, uh, because I like things to, to uh, be more progressive and change, and change happens a little slower in Omaha, it seems like, from, from my perspective, from living here for 57 years. A lot has changed, but uh, I think there's uh, a lot more that we could do to even make it, you know, better. Mm -hmm.